brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. We just got word a few moments ago. Surprise, surprise, 45 days from the election, uh, the Fed dropped the interest rate. By half a point, 50 basis points to a range of 4.75% to 5%. So it, that wasn't possible four months ago or eight months ago, but right before the election, it's possible. It's amazing, the timing of that. It's just sus. Yeah. I'm, good I'm, I'm Gen using Z a, word. I'm there. using a good millennial word I'm here. I'm impressed. Sus. I learned that from George. He taught it to me. So, yeah. I mean, come on, people. Can you not look at this and go, are you, is America that, are you folks in America that stupid that you don't look at this and go, well, that's suspicious timing, boys Within and girls. Within spitting distance of the election. And all of a sudden they go, all right, pull the lever. As if it's going to change anything between now and the election. It's not, by the way. But it sure is good PR. You know, because one of the things that the current administration is getting hammered on is the state of the economy. And it's really hard to keep a party in office, Republican or Democrat, when the economics are bad during the presidential election year. And so right up on it, there it is, just drop. Best part is whoever takes office will then take credit for all of this. And here's what's interesting. In, uh, mortgage interest rates are the lowest they have been since February of 23, about 20 months ago. In, tw in the last tw almost two years, we have the lowest mortgage interest rates very quietly they're down and the market has not taken off and boomed the real estate market has not boomed and there's a lot of reasons why jade and i talked about this on yesterday's show george and you brought it up at the break that some of it might be that people have a two percent mortgage and they don't want to move so inventory to a six percent mortgage so they're holding their home off the market and that's slowing down the speed the the veracity of the real estate market i've got another theory i brought it up yesterday and i have no idea if there's any credence to this at all it's just an idea but that p some people might be waiting on the harris administration or the trump administration to fix their life and they're going to wait till after the election to decide whether they're going to buy a house or not so they're just kind of sitting on the bench waiting on the election to roll out because they made the mistake of believing that who's in the white house actually matters more than who's in their house so it does matter, and some of these ideas that are being debated matter. None of these personality characteristics that are being debated matter. None of them. But the ideas should be debated, and you should be upset. Not upset. You should be. None of you should be as upset as you are. My God, people, calm down. But anyway, uh, but, but, but the Neither one of these people are going to change your life, but you're, some of you are sitting on the sidelines waiting because you still think that one of them is going to buy you a house. And they're not, neither one of them going to buy a house. They don't, neither one of them have a buy a house program as one of their policies. We're going to buy Dave a house. I've been doing this a long, long time. I'm old. None of them have ever sent me any money. They have all asked me for money, but none of them have ever sent me any money. Many of them have raised my taxes mm. and raised my taxes under the idea that I'm not paying my fair share, which when I pay a whole lot, and you pay nothing. I'm not sure how that's fair, but okay. Anyway, I'm convinced the fair is where cotton candy and the tilt world are. But, um, so anyway, all that to say, I think that's a, a hit in this market. What do you think? Well, the, I think the supply and demand issue still is there. There's not enough supply because no one's letting go of their two and a half, three percent mortgages. And therefore, until we see some of that move, I don't think the housing market as a whole is going to shift. But I do think for those that have been sitting on the sidelines waiting for a rate to go down, because it could save you a few hundred bucks with the rate cut like this, that could make it affordable for a lot of people who are ready to buy. They're out of debt. They have the emergency fund. They've got well, a healthy down payment. It won't, it won't buy the election, though, because the Fed rate is not a mortgage rate. The Fed rate is what banks borrow from other banks at. It affects by extension and implication mortgage rates but mortgage rates are formed by the bond market not by the fed and so if the fed lowering rates tends towards mortgage rates going down which it usually does it has to filter through the bond market and then that will take another be a lag that'll take another 30 45 days so that'll be post-election before you see any benefit from that but it's all about perception is what this is yeah this is a pr move pretty much like during the congressional elections midterm stuff uh, Biden came out and said he's going to forgive all student loans. Oh, that's right. That's good timing as well. Yeah.
and, and everybody knew he couldn't do it, and the Supreme Court ruled against him he couldn't do it. Everybody, you can't do that with an executive order. But he can order. say, well, I tried. And, and he goes, mean old Republicans. But it was a, it was a, it was a political That's announcement. what we call strategery, Dave. Well, strategery. That's, that's what the other party called it. Yeah. Uh, that's a funny story. Anyway. Uh. George W. actually thought he invented that, and Saturday Night Live invented that. He told me that in an interview. I miss the simpler times. Create your free every dollar budget today, the simplest way to budget for your life.